Oh yeah! What's up people, this is JP Ronnie, ready to bring you the doozy of an LP I promised when I started the 50p game challenge. Yes, it is Beverly Hills Cop, as you can probably tell from the video title. Yeah, no big reveal there, is it? Oh, something along those lines. Oh yes, and you can tell from that smiling cartoon bomb that we are in for a bomb of a game. And yeah, licensed by Paramount and made by a type planet. These, I should point out, are the actual developers of the game. Oof. You got that blast of <laughs> not Axel F. Instead, we got this, like, rip off version of it. So let's see what languages we've got here, actually. So we've got English, Danish, was that Finnish, German, Norsk, it's Norwegian, Espanol, Svenska, or it's probably Svenska, I don't know how you pronounce that. Portuguese, Italian, no, Francis, or Francie, or what the hell it is, Netherlands, okay, and English, okay, well, obviously we can go with English, because that's the language I speak, I don't speak any of the others, so as you can see, memory card inserted, because there's no way I'm playing through this from the beginning, okay, <laughs> who's the memory card that contains Beverly Hills Cop that, well, I don't have, Okay, I haven't saved on this game before. I love this title screen, by the way. It like it shows the title twice for some reason. It reminds me of those um, bootleg games. In fact, I, I gotta turn the sound down. It's way too loud. Okay, much better. Yeah, okay, that's better. L like I said, um, it, it reminds me of those like bootleg games where they'll like replace the copyright stuff with like random shit. Okay, so now it allows you to create a save file. I don't get that. Like, most PS2 games... Ooh, nice little lag right there. But, um... Yeah. It, why does the music keep skipping? Stop doing that. I mean, I know you're a cheap piece of crap, but you can at least... You think they would at least have the sense to turn the music off while, the, while you're saving the game? They're gonna I mean this is a budget game, so what do you expect? But, yeah. It seems weird that they don't let me save data like right away. I have to like wait until I go into the options menu to do that. So, wait what the hell? Exit to main menu, what the hell does that do? <laughs> oh, answer... <laughs> oh god, that, that's just brilliant. So, apparently I can quit to main menu even though I'm already in the main menu. What the hell is going on? Okay, like I haven't even started the game yet and already I don't get this. Um... Oh, actually, this I like. You can actually change the look sensitivity, which is good. Because if I remember correctly, the sensitivity is way too low by default. So, what's it go up to? Well, that's the same thing, by the way. Okay, 10. Okay. I don't get... Because it goes by increments of 2. It's like, they may as well just had it as, like, a bar. Uh, let's turn it to 4, because that seems to be a bit right. Okay. Well, I'm not going to save again. <laughs> There's no point. Saving can yeah, well, I kind of figured that by not saving. <laughs> I mean, that goes with saying. And then we can quit to main menu again, even though there's zero point to doing that. We can load game, even though I haven't started yet. This is great, like... I <laughs> like, I haven't even started the game yet, and already I'm confused. I, li I do like the background, though. It's just like a two-second clip just looping backwards. It reminds me of those PlayStation 1 demo discs, where they just have, like... A clip that played for two seconds and then just repeat it constantly. Except, you know, there it looks cooler. Not to mention that, you know, it was a demo disc. Who would have cared? Resume game? Shouldn't that say start game? Ugh, whatever. Let's have a look at the level selection. So we've got, as you can see, we've got six levels. Thankfully, there's only six levels. And, um. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what the. The hell? So. So it said, okay, I don't get this. So it just said, resume game, and now it says, new game. Oh, whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, so it just randomly ended right there. Actually, speaking of the music, I like how, like I said, I mean, the music is basically just a rip-off of Axel F. Like, it's more like, I don't know, Black's or Death. Who knows? Although, I will at least give him credit for not using the Crazy Frog version. So that gives them one point. They're probably going to lose that point almost immediately. I mean, look at that. 
Okay, that's not even X left. It's just some bold guy who's like trying to be X left but failing. Also, like here, it just says California on the badge or whatever the hell it's supposed to be. I mean, is it supposed to be a license plate? Like, because if it is, then why is there no numbers? Okay, uh, mission one, the chop shop. Sneak into the garage at night. Look for evidence to put away a ring of car thieves. Stay out of sight. These guys don't like cops. Well, of course they don't. They're thieves. Okay, that goes around Satan. Okay, so already you can see the graphics are brilliant. Okay, sensitivity feels a little bit high, but uh, I'll deal with it. Um, okay. But, I mean, just look at the graphics. Like, this is a PS2 game from 2006. Like, this game was released the same year as Black. Looks like I'll be going in with the trash. Yeah, that's just brilliant. So we go here. Yeah, I did briefly play this one, so just a test to make sure my PS2 worked. Because my PS2 broke yesterday, and I actually wanted to record this LP blind. But... Like I said, my PS2, well, my PS2 didn't die, the laser on it died, and I had to, like, disassemble it and clean it myself, which was kind of annoying, but at least now I've actually got it working, and now it can actually play this game, and it can play, like, PS1 games and stuff, even though I'm not going to bother playing PS1 games on PS2, because I have a PS1. And from what I remember of this, you can't actually shoot the enemies, I think if you try doing that, you get caught. And I remember getting caught, like, right after this bit. And, maybe I'm wrong, but I think this might actually work like Mel Gear Solid. Like, you see there, I walked right in front of that guy, but he didn't spot me. It's like, yeah, Mel Gear Solid. And, look, I walked just as slowly, um, like, just walking. Okay, so, guy spotted me. Even though he wasn't actually looking at me, he just... <laughs> he just pulled his gun out, just randomly. There we go, I lost, so let's restart the mission. Loan screen again, which is brilliant. I don't, there's one thing that I've never understood. Like, like certain games, when you restart the level, they have to like load the level again, which I don't really get that. Like, I think Gran Turismo does that, and I really don't understand why. Like, because I mean, surely if you've loaded the level, you wouldn't need to reload the level. I mean, that, like, that's one of the problems I had with Sonic 06. And if I ever, I'm probably never gonna do. Sonic 06 LP, because I don't have an Xbox 360 anymore, like, I used to have an Xbox 360, but, you know, I got rid of it, because I just stopped caring about it, you know, it's just, it's just the way, I mean, they, they stopped getting good games for it, at least from what I know, so I just, like, eh. Um, also, I should point out, but wait, I cannot skip this cutscene, and the controls, maybe it's just because it's the first mission, but the controls on the scene very limited, like, the only buttons that I think do anything here are L1 and R1. Like, L1 crouches and R1 shoots. But like I said, you, you can't even shoot here because you get caught, I think. So, let's see if I can get through here this time. I, maybe maybe if I hide behind this car, maybe I can let that guy walk past and then go the next bit. Or maybe this guy's going to catch me. The one, yeah, one coming up right here. Uh, what's the thing that I really don't get about this is if you get caught here, you just automatically lose, which I don't really get that. Like surely, you know, um, it will make a lot more sense to just go to a plan B. Ooh. Oh, okay, so you didn't spot me that time. Oh, uh, okay. Oh shit! Look at this. <laughs> this is. It. It almost feels like a really, really bad Metal Gear Solid, except, you know, there's no radar, so you don't really know where the enemies are. Uh, also, I'm not entirely sure, like, do any of these people spotting me count as a fail, or is it just, like, the ones dressed up in trench coats? Like, I don't know. Um, see, I don't know, like, is this guy going to fail the mission for me if he catches me? Like, i got no idea. Um... Because the game never bothers... The game doesn't really bother to really explain much. It basically just tells you the basic... Of... Okay, I, I don't think I was meant to go this way, come to think of it. I think I'm meant to get caught. Okay, so, yeah. So you see, I, like, I tried shooting there, and they just, like, randomly failed me. So we got to go through all this again. 
Okay, I think I've figured out where to go. I, I think, <laughs> yeah, because I wasn't paying attention to that cutscene last time. I probably should have been doing that, to be fair. So that's kind of my fault. I'm going to go blame the game for that. What I will blame the game for, though, is that the graphics look like shit. I mean, seriously. Like, I mean, I know I've said this already, but it's like... like what the hell's up with this? Like, why is the... Why is this trash on fire? It doesn't even make any sense. And also, uh, yeah, like I said, why is it that when you get caught, it just randomly fails? Or, you know, you just randomly lose? Like, surely it will make a lot more sense to have it so that you could just shoot people. You know, it's like, if you ever played Metal Gear Solid, and you should have done by now, because it's 2015, and what the hell are you doing if you've never played that game? But yeah, I mean, if you've never, if you've ever played Metal Gear Solid, you'll know, you know, in that game when you get caught, you can just try to like shoot, you can just try to shoot all the enemies, or you can just, actually, is there a different way around here? Okay, yeah, you know I'm gonna go this way because it seems like it might be easier. Oh shit! Okay, well, this twat's coming my way. Okay, great. <laughs> I don't get, like, why they couldn't just restart you after the cutscene. Or why they even have to load it again in the first place. I mean, it's not like... It's not like a game where it's, like, streamlining, like, the load times or whatever. So that, you know, you go to one area and they will load the next bit of the next area or something like that. You know. And if, they, if this game did that, I'll be genuinely surprised. But I'm pretty sure that it doesn't. And it's like the face buttons don't even do anything. Like, seriously, I've pressed all the face buttons. None of them do anything here. I mean, there's no change view. Well, actually, I, f I think, if I remember correctly, I think the square button reloads. But, like I said, there's no point shooting on this level. So, it's like, why? So, see, you know what would really help in this part? Okay, a friggin' radar. I mean, I guess... It probably won't make much sense to have a radar, but still. I mean, it'll make the gameplay more convenient, at least. That's for damn sure. So, maybe if I go in between the trucks, I might be able to get past them. What's the being I just randomly get spotted out of nowhere? Yep, what a fucking surprise. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I was going to expect that from a game this cheaply made and just plain bad in general. I mean... <sighs> Seriously, why can't I just shoot them when they spot me? Like any good game. I mean, like I said, Milky Solid does that. I mean, Delta Force Urban Warfare does that. You know, and keep in mind, both of those games came out on PS1, okay? And they were released before this. I mean, Milky Solid came out in 1999, and it is a million times better than this. Hell, it actually looks a million times better than this, despite the lower resolution, and the fact, you know, just the fact that it's on PS1, okay? And yet it still looks way better than this game. Which is pretty sad when you think about it. I mean, hell, Del Force Open Warfare looks better. Seriously, and why can't you skip this bloody cutscene? So like, what's the point? Yeah, okay, I get where I'm supposed to go by now. Okay, you don't need to tell me. So let's just try what I did the first time, except this time I'm going to go the right way. Yeah. See, I mean, this might not have been so bad if they just made it, like, a straightforward shooter. Like, if there was none of the stealth nonsense. Like, if they got rid of all the stealth mechanics, this might have been... I wouldn't say good, but it might have at least been tolerable, I guess. I don't know. Um, by the way, I love... <laughs> Look at this, by the way. Look at that. I'm not going to shoot it, just in case it, the game fails me because of that. So we got, I think there was a guy there just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't really tell because the graphics are so terrible. So the game's going to fail me here. Oh, maybe not. And of course there's so many people walking around here. Which doesn't really help. Ooh. Oh, no you don't. I'm going to hide behind these boxes so you can't see me. Even though it's lit up around here, so you think they will be able to see me, but I guess not. Oh, uh, and oh, wait now. I think that I think the couldn't. Actually, you know what? Let's skip this bullshit. 